All right, so we got our two dogfish, dogfish sharks here. And uh, we're gonna try to fillet these out and then skin them. Um, it's interesting, on the skin, you go one way, it's silky smooth, and then go the other way, severe tire damage or uh, feels like sandpaper, as people would say. So we're gonna get into it now. Now, I don't have a short fillet knife, so I got my deboning knife. And we're gonna come I'm gonna come right here behind the gills and try to get below, you know, get started. And I'm going to just go ahead and get under the skin here. Get, get it started. And the only reason why, well, it's kind of hard to go out there and justify spending all the money and not come back with something. And I would say, you can see that is some of the whitest meat that you can get out there. And it's, and it's pretty dense. I mean, it's not like some of the fish you get in it falls apart. And this is the first time I've cleaned a dogfish, so there's a stomach. Well, I have to say it's a little bit easier to clean this than a fish because there's not a set of belly bone right there. That's all meat. And it looks like all good meat too. And my plan is to make dogfish nuggets. And my camera's not aimed at, but I'm just With good looking fillet right there. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. The main reason why I'm using two different knives is I'm hoping that I don't doll out my fillet knife on this tough skin. Wow, there's fewer bones on, I didn't realize there are fewer bones on a shark or a dogfish. I didn't realize there are fewer bones on a dogfish than there are regular fish. What surprised me was how white uh, these fillets were. Now we're going to get ready to cook here. We're going to go in the kitchen. And you want to go ahead and chunk up your shark fillet. Make sure you try to get some of that, uh, as much of the blood meat or bloodline meat off of the fillet. And I went ahead and make some breading with egg and uh, some cream. And I'm using Autry House Seafood Seasoning as my breading. Uh, and we're using peanut oil, frying them, and that's the finished product. And here is me giving the taste test with the thumbs up approval and my wife being silly taking a whole bunch of pictures. 
that, I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll catch you next time.